we've all stopped saying gay for about 10 years. And what I've noticed in the last two years or so, gay is back in a big way. People are saying gay, not for homosexual, but like the way they did in the late 90s. That shit's gay, man. I mean, I'm hearing gay people saying it. Not right now, obviously, but I want you to know that I've heard gay people say, man, that's gay in a derogatory way. And I'm, I'm on the fence about whether or not it's good. You know, some people could say, you know, about the N-word. They would say, James, you don't understand the N-word. You've never been called that. You don't know how it feels. But I, about gay, I do actually know how it feels to be called gay repeatedly. <laughs> for all of high school and primary school. Like, that is one thing that we soft-bodied nerds and the people who grew up to be gay had in common. <laughs> I absolutely understand how it feels to have a man call you a poofter while he's driving past. I've had it happen quite a lot. <laughs> mm. And what's more, I didn't even get the fun of growing up to be gay. Gay men, they get to go, well, that was then, I was harassed, and now I'm having a wonderful time in this nightclub, sniffing this thing and opening up my bottom. And, you know, just having, having really the best time imaginable. And I get to grow up and be a button-down Catholic and have child after child after child. Even gay people who have a child, they, they find a, a woman in the Philippines to carry the first one, and then they go, that's enough. Happy family. You take what you can bite off. I just, I have to keep coming in the pussy. <laughs> and I'm on the fence. It's obviously, I understand the pain of being called gay, but there are things that have happened in society since we stopped shouting gay out of car windows that wouldn't have happened had we kept doing it. I'm thinking of frisbee. It's quite a lot of frisbeeing. I'm thinking of e-scooters. <laughs> Do you think we could have become a society of e-scooter people if people were shouting homophobic slurs out of cars <laughs> The big one for me is vaping. There's no way if we were in the hostile world of the early 2000s that vaping would have. You're making your breath smell like cinnamon. <laughs> Strawberry and cinnamon in a big cloud. It's disgusting. Vapists. Shiny vapists lurking up the back of the room. Either have a cigarette or don't, you know? People who smoke, excellent. You're ready to die, and I congratulate you on your bravery. People who don't smoke, wow. Either you're a big nerd, and well done you, or you've quit smoking, the strength, you know, the will. But people who vape, too weak to quit, too gay to die. That's how I feel about it. <laughs>